Hello guys, I hope you're well. Thank you for joining me today for this Buskling reading. Um, if you are new, welcome to my channel and I'm my soul. My name is Zoe. And thank you to all of you for all your love and support and encouragement you give me all the time. I'm so very, very grateful that I've been connected with you guys. Um, you're so supportive. And that was the whole purpose of this channel is to be connected with people like you that are in the same or similar situation where we can help each other. So thank you so, so much. And um, if you would like a private reading, you want more of a clearer message for you personally on your unique Twin Flame journey, just email me. It's in the description box down below. I'll be happy to do that for you. And <clears throat> if you haven't subscribed and you're new, don't forget to subscribe because um, it will mean so much to me because I'm really excited where this channel's heading. So I'm going to start with the Moonology Oracle cards for this reading. Um, everything's really exciting at the moment. There's so much going on with the Divine Masculines. There's so much progress and this big transformation, this rebirth. Um, and the readings are just amazing and so positive and you can feel the change within you. Um, I'm sure you can, but well, you just feel differently about this journey and this relationship with your Divine Masculine um, because there's been a shift within you and you just know that your Divine Masculine's uh, had this shift and you could have already noticed a massive change and um, some of you have said in the comments that you have so this is just amazing. So yesterday I did a weekly reading and it was about the Divine Masculine's forgiving themselves um, and forgiving situations that have happened in the past. So. Um, they are progressing beautifully and massive shifts are happening even if you can't see them in the 3D they are happening you've just got to keep believing and trusting on this you know this journey but I'm sure that you guys are doing that and that's why we're getting these readings like this so um, my readings are timeless as well so it doesn't matter when you clicked on this video if the message resonates it's for you and I use the labels Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine because that's how I channel and it's easy for you to understand. So please don't be offended, just put it into your situation how it resonates. I realise it's just energy. So let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculines today, what energy they're in, what they're experiencing. Because as you know, energy changes all the time. So let's see. A win-win outcome, outcome is forecast amazing full moon in libra so there's balance there's balance the divine masculines are finding this balance of giving receiving and between their higher self and their ego they're finding this balance because and there's a win-win outcome is forecast so every everything being balanced and having a different outlook on life and stuff is you know they're, they're not you can't go wrong because of this balance they everything that's they're wanting everything um, they're desiring, desiring is a win-win situation. So let's see what the <coughs> guidebook says. How exciting. It's about them feeling balanced. And it's full moon in Libra as well, because Libra is about balance. Let's have a look. And it's page 80, which is infinity and abundance. So... Okay, the full moon in Libra, the sign of partnership or falling in love <laughs> and of closely relating to someone else. How amazing. Since full moons are about climaxes and conclusions, this card suggests you're either about to start a new relationship or that an important existing relationship is changing somehow, perhaps coming to an end or moving to a new level of commitment. How amazing, guys. I just want to cry. This is so positive, and you know yourself this is happening. This is happening, guys. It's important to remember that people come to us for a reason, and sometimes it's just for a season. If a relationship is ending now, it's doing so at the right time, so try not to fight it. This card can also refer to a professional relationship. There is a sense that you need to balance your ego with someone else's needs. A win-win outcome is possible with give and take. Doing so might be in the answer to your question. Can you believe that? Divine Masculines have this balance and this new relationship, you know, they want this relationship so much with you and they want things to be different and it's about love, about, you know, 
sharing your love um, and like I said giving and receiving they want to express their love to you and they want to receive your love they don't want to block your love anymore they want to receive it and they want to give back to you as well things are going to be so different and they want this different level of commitment they want they have had this spiritual understanding they have a, the different you know they've up their level of understanding on this this journey and they have this great understanding and they understand it so much where they just want this commitment they understand this relationship so much more I'm, I'm very excitable so I'm going over the same thing because I've got no words because this is just we can't ask for any more this is our dreams coming true <laughs> because you're doing the work you've done the work you've done your inner work you have this understanding yourself and this is why your divine masculine wants this commitment with you and because he's done his work because you've done your work because you're one soul how amazing i'm going to go to the soul's journey next um but how beautiful is this are you excited? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> I'm very excited, as you can hear. <clears throat> what else do we need to know about the Divine Masculines today? Nice, clear message, please. What energy are they in today? What are they experiencing? Just how are they feeling today in general? They're ready to commit to you. They're on to this next level of this understanding. They've had this transformation. Let's see what else is going to come out today. I'm so nervous and excited at the same time. Loneliness. I know that I am never alone. They're realising that they're never alone, but they could be feeling quite lonely as well today without you. They want to be with you. They want to come towards you as well. But they're learning that the fact they're never alone because you're one soul, and um, they are, have they connect with God, and they know that their guides and their angels are around them helping them as well, and everything they're wanting is within them. So they have this understanding that they're never alone, and. They could be feeling lonely because they miss you. So let's see, they're spending time on their own while they're doing all this work and making these decisions. Um, let's see, 72, which is nine, mm, 72, let's have a look. Near end of a cycle. Okay, this card has come to you because you must be reminded that there is a difference between being lonely and being alone. Feelings of loneliness originate from sense of not appreciating the most important person in your life, you. If solitude seems like an if solitude so sounds like an affliction, you need to work on creating a healthy relationship with yourself. Only then will you attract others who will nurture your soul. If you don't develop a healthy relationship with yourself first, you will only draw unhealthy relationships to you. To create a healthy, positive relationship with yourself, you must begin to feel worthy of love. The pessimism of this physical dimension can affect your self-esteem if you don't have the strong conviction that you are valuable and meaningful. Don't view solitude as a weakness. It's merely your soul telling you that it's time to do some inner work and reevaluate re your birth your path sorry before you start to shine as you sit in the silence of your soul you will realize that your spirit family teachers and guides are with you you are never alone how amazing is that i'm just going cold and i'm just shivering because it's so powerful they're learning that they are never alone and they're it's just showing that they are doing their work they have done their work and they're they know that the art to this is to have a better relationship with themselves and it, the answers they're wanting are within and um, just nurturing themselves realising that they have to have a really good relationship with themselves and feel better about themselves before they can give to anybody else and it's about realising that what's going on this 3D and things that are happening, what they've experienced before, it, things you don't have to go along with what society says and it's okay for them to be who they are and to do things differently because they're getting that support from God and the angels at the moment and 
they're learning to value themselves and spending time, they are alone um, at this time to do this inner work, um, to just connect with themselves and to connect with Source, to God and the angels. Um, and when they're having this time alone, obviously they're thinking about you and they do miss you. Um, and they don't want to, they don't want to be alone anymore. They miss you as well. This is the, about missing you and they want to be with you. They want to be with phys you, you know, physical person, um, but learning again that they don't need to be sad um, and they don't need to be any different to who they really, who they are. They're good enough the way they are and they have God's love. And this is what this journey is about. It's been waking up to God's love, to have trust and faith and create, you can create the life that you're wanting. You can have all the abundance and the desires and dreams you want um, when you believe and when you have this faith and you trust instead of letting your ego to take over saying well this is not going to happen and things never work out for me and i don't deserve this and letting your ego take over and make you feel bad and all this toxic negative energy they're they're, they're controlling you know there's this balance their higher self and their ego they're balancing that now um so they're learning about the feeling of loneliness um, but it's good that they're alone right now so they can do this work. But again, they could be feeling lonely, meaning they want to be with you as well. They want this to be over and they want to come towards you and express their love and commit to you. Um, but it's about them, learn most importantly, is this message is about their learning that the fact they're never alone because they have the support from, from God's love and... Um, they can complete themselves because all they have to do is go within and feel powerful and secure um, because their things are happening to them where they're experiencing just amazing things where I always say you just can't make this stuff up we have these experiences all the time where we just say oh my goodness I cannot believe it you can't make this stuff up they have those experiences as well so they know that they're not alone they know that there is this higher power and there is, you know, there's God, they're connected with God and things are happening and this is why, you know, the support and the protection that God has been giving the Divine Masculine, giving them the downloads of the information that they're needed on this journey, you know, they're feeling so grateful for that. Um, so they're finding balance and they're understanding that they are never alone, but at the same time, they don't want to be without you, so they could be feeling lonely men. They want to be with you as well. That's how my intuition is taking, you know. As you know yourself, you are feeling more whole. You're getting on with your life. You're focusing yourself. You realise that you go within and that you're never alone. But you do still want that physical person with you. You want to share your life with them. So that's how your Divine Masculine is having that experience today. And I'm going to go to the Wisdom of the Oracle next to see what comes out here so I hope you know what I'm saying um, but that the most important thing is they're learning that they are never alone which means that this uh, they're on a different you know level now in this spiritual journey because they have this greater understanding of it things are happening to them where they feel so supported Right, what else do we need to know about the Divine Masculines today? What are they experiencing? What energy are they and what they want you to know today as well? Everything is working out beautifully and in a balanced way. Win-win situation is forecast. So you can't get any better than that. <clears throat> going to come out why so your divine masculine knows the why's now they understand that look 
in the card you can see the feathers the wings and a book they understand the why now why certain things have happened in a certain way they understand um this, they've been receiving the answers that they want in so they you know as i said they have this great understanding now to the why why this experience has happened why i had this experience in the past um they understand so much more so let's see what the message says how exciting and what is the number 31 um, three and one is four, which is foundation, building foundation, 116. Okay, the essential meaning is motives, driving, intention, the power of knowing, the why, yeah. They know why this has happened to them. They know that this is a beautiful relationship they have with you and it's a deep soul relationship and that you're meant to be together before they could have been confused about the whole thing and was like why is this happening to me why does it feel like everything's falling and crumbling in front of me they understand it now there is a great power in understanding your motives right now the oracle asks you to be very clear about why you're asking this question looking for the answer behaving in this way and most important making this choice Knowing your why is the key to fulfilment. When you are clear about your intention, intention will then be magnet for miracles. Motives define the nature of your experience when you think about something, feel it and then act on it. This invisible why is the life force energy within the seed which brings it to life and holds the potential for growth. Yeah. And the relationship message is, we don't always know why we engage in our relationships in the way we do, mostly because our feelings aren't always logical. Now is the time to recognise whether you're being triggered by someone else or if your behaviour is motiv motivated by unresolved is issues in the past. When you ask yourself why, why am I feeling this way and why did I say that and spend some time introspection, in this introspection the answers may be surprising listen to the messages from your intuition from the knowing deep within you what does it tell you about yourself and others in the end life is all about being loved miracles and a deep understanding of your needs and how to get them met and the buried treasures of the why uncover them by posing the most powerful question you can ask yourself and your partner today is why yeah they understand why they've had these different experiences in their life. They understand it's part of their soul growth, growth and they understand that you come into their life for a reason. They understand this, so they have the answers. So when they're having different experiences, they're asking themselves, why? Why am I feeling this way? And that's what's happening with you as well. That's exactly what's happening with me. When I get triggered by something now, I have the understanding where I question myself and say, why is that bothering me? Instead of putting the blame on somebody else or thinking it's somebody else's fault, fault, somebody else's fault, sorry, my words again all over the place, um, or looking at a situation, thinking that, you know, anything external from me, thinking, you know, being angry or upset with something outside of myself, I take it within and ask myself, why is that bothering me? Why? What wounds are within me? And the Divine Masculines are at this level now where they have this understanding, where they're asking themselves, why is this making me feel this way? And they're not listening to the ego or they're not, they're seeing through the illusions, you know, as well. So they have this deep understanding of why this has happened to them. They understand this journey. They've had this transformation. They've had this spiritual awakening. Um, and it's just so powerful how amazing is that they understand it they've had they've done research they've done something's happened where they ha just have this knowledge now and this great understanding the same as us how what you've experienced right now I'm going to get a I'm not going to get communication for the divine muskins what they want to say to you so they've they have this balance they found this balance they want to commit to you on a higher level um they are exploding with love they're finding balance to do with their ego and their higher self they're learning that they're not alone um, and everything they need is within themselves and they're connected with god 
could be feeling lonely because they want to you know be with you the physical person thinking about you a lot and they know the whys now they understand why different experiences or feelings that they have they understand it so how amazing right now i'm going to start shuffling i'm going to be using liz's cards um from guided by angels divine masculine message of love let's see what the message today is what would you like the person to know today divine masculine is watching my clear message what is the communication today what would you like the person to know that's watching Nice clear message. What's the communication today? From the Divine Masculines, what they want you to know, the person that's watching. I have to release the past. They're still releasing the past. I will come forward to you in time. <laughs> They're going to come forward to you in time, but they're still releasing the past. They're still doing their work. I need time to think. So they still need time to think about how they're coming towards you, how they're going to resolve this situation. So if some of you could be getting <laughs> something to throw at the camera right now because you're getting so frustrated and impatient. But this is all perfect because they have to release the past and um, they want you to know they are going to come towards you in time when it's the perfect time, divine timing, um, it's out of your control, it's when God decides um, because this is a divine relationship and they need time to think, they need this time to think about how they're going to come towards you so if your divine masculine is being silent and you haven't had any action yet they're using this time being alone learning all these different things remember to balancing things out they know that there is a win-win situation you know because they're balancing their ego and their higher self out they feel all this love they realize and accept this love and they realize that they have to get the answers from within um, and they're never alone because god and god's angels are always supporting them and they aren't they know why they're having this experience they just need this time to think about how they're going to come towards you because this again like i said in yesterday's reading this is so different this is so different this time because they've got to come towards you so pure and um so different to what they've been before without their masks on so this is quite a big thing for them so don't be impatient don't be frustrated don't be triggered by this reading because it's not saying, oh, I'm coming today. <laughs> Just trust and think to yourself, why is this triggering me? If it is triggering you about I need time to think and I have to release my past, they're still releasing their past. The same as you, you're, you're still doing inner work as well. You've done so much um, inner work, but we always continuously do this work, don't we? There's still things gonna come up as well um, that's, going to need to be healed within you it's not just one morning going to wake up and it's all healed so it's the same for divine masculines and ask yourself as well is there still things that you need to release from the past you know thinking about your divine masculine how he's behaved before or things that have happened to you as a child um different relationships you've had things that you might need still need to release um that's in the past so the divine masculines are doing this right now so don't be triggered because this has to be done before they can come towards you. And we know this week is a powerful week. There is so much happening and so much positive things and they are gonna to come towards you, but this is the energy for today. Let's see what the energy pots say. Honest, yeah. They've been honest about this relationship. They've been honest to themselves. They are going to be honest with you. Um, let's see. They're going to come towards you in time and it's going to be honest. This is what we want. 
there's no point in them still having the past within them and they haven't healed it because then they will still we won't see this difference love yeah they love you so much their heart is full of love they're in the energy of love and this is what's driving them to do this work and they need this time to think about how they're going to share this love with you this is so important because it has to be right because they know that they've got to the stage with you you've set these healthy boundaries where you're not standing for this silly fakeness anymore you want the truth you want honesty you want the mask down you've made that clear with these healthy boundaries that you've made with your divine masculine so they need this time to think about how they're coming towards you today this is today remember let's get my communication what they would love to communicate with you today. I have dreams about you. So they're having dreams about you at the moment. They want you to know that today. You could be having dreams as well. Let's see what else is going to come out. I love you with all my heart, yeah. They love you with all their heart. And they want you to know that today. Don't be triggered by I need time to think because they love you with all their heart and they're using this time. It's quality time to heal themselves and they want you to know as well they are coming towards you. And it's going to be honest. Um, and they have so much love for you. So let's see. I'm going to get a card for you now. The power of love. Cards what you need to know today to help you stay focused and to keep believing, to keep your strength up, um, to keep doing what you're doing, because you're doing an absolutely amazing job. Absolutely amazing. Union is coming. You are so close. This is a powerful week as well, so. What is the message for the person that's watching today? A nice clear message to help them stay focused to keep their strength up. Nice clear message. Integrity. You demonstrate the truth and the honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. Yeah. How amazing is that and how powerful is that? You are living your truth you're listening to what your soul wants and you're manifesting things in your life um, and it's all coming from integrity you're being truthful you're listening to what your soul wants um, keep being true to yourself keep being listening to what your soul wants um, still do what you're doing balancing everything your ego your higher self the same as the divine masculines are, are learning to do you're coming from a space of integrity and you're demonstrating that um, share it with the world share with the world who you really are the truth and be proud of who you are let's see what the message says here i hope you can see okay it's getting darker and darker it's a very dull day where i am so um let's see 67 integrity there is a great between believing in something and demonstrating it to the world. Walk your talk is the mantra of this card that bridges this gap. You can read every spiritual book available, but if you don't practice what you've accepted in your heart, then it's all for naught. Holding love and compassion as the cornerstones of your belief system is very different from manifesting them in the real world. Integrity is a state of wholeness and completeness of being. When all the pieces of your psychic are unified as one, you don't have to try to be compassionate, you just are. A person with integrity follows through on their heart commitments. If you tend to second guess yourself or are filled with conflicting opinions, you might still be struggling to find your authentic self. And that's okay, life is about learning to be better you and if you aren't learning something new every day, that's a wasted opportunity. To know whether you are coming up for an integrated space. Notice your behaviour during a time of chaos. 
If there is gentle quiet of the mind and a clear path is seen, then love is present. When you come from this centre, you are in the moment, not swayed by the past or the future. You shine a be beacon of self-assurance that draws all good things to you. So this is very good after what we've just had. So I've just said that some of the cards for the communication um, could have triggered you, but it's about actually, you know, learning to actually be true to yourself, to be calm, to understand the truth, not to allow, you know, your mind to go, oh, well, it's not happening yet, um, being in control, being triggered by that. Actually go accept it and just put it down to love. Love, love is the answer to everything. There's no point wasting your energy by being cross or angry and thinking, well, when's this going to happen? Because there's the ego taking over saying, no, it's not never going to happen. You know, why is it taking so long? You've got to be truthful to yourself. You know the truth. You know your divine masculine is coming towards you. And you need to practice in that every, in your everyday life. Um, don't just do it sometimes. Live your truth. Show the universe your truth. Show God your truth. That you do believe in this relationship with your divine masculine. That you do believe in... Um, your masculine you do believe in yourself and you know that what you're feeling is true so always come um, and um, show your truth sorry not come show your truth um, go within and calm yourself and be peaceful um, be compassionate in every situation um, and be peaceful don't allow the past or the future to creep in and take you away from that peace or your you know and the ego can cause so much chaos and conflict and when you actually just take away those thoughts of fear of oh my goodness my divine muscles not coming towards me and why is it taking so long you think you feel what it makes you feel connect with that feeling it just causes you to feel so uncomfortable then change it into just feeling peaceful, knowing that it's happening for a reason that today that they're in this energy. Trust that there's a reason behind every experience and you're learning from it. You're learning about more patience. You're learning to let go of control and allowing God to take control. And when things are meant to come together with your divine muscles, they come together at that time when it's meant to be. Don't allow an outer experience, a trigger, to affect how you are as a person, your truth. Because it's not, that isn't integrity. That's just causing chaos and upset for no reason. Because you know the truth. You know that your divine masculine is coming towards you and he's getting closer and closer every day. You know this union is happening. You know that your divine masculine loves you and he's coming. You know all the answers to all the things that you question yourself and where the doubt and the fear comes in. You know all the answers. So don't allow the ego to take you off track and make you struggle and to you to feel upset allow them to come in the thoughts and allow them to go again allow the feeling to come and allow them to go again but you know that they're just there to test you and they're just triggers to help you grow and to help you feel that inner peace more to manage your emotions so i hope you understand what i'm saying so just always come from integrity speak your truth be your truth live your everyday life as if this has happened already with your divine masculine Show the world that you know your divine masculine loves you and you have no doubt. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. It's quite very quite powerful, really. Um, and of course, I'm exactly the same as you. I'm on this journey as well and things trigger me all the time. But I'm learning to allow, allow the triggers to come and allow the triggers to go. And I ask my question, you know, ask myself the question why? And um, I'm not standing for the ego to interfere in my life anymore. I'm managing my ego. And I could be upset and think, oh, how long is this going to take then, you know? Um, how much more past has he got to, to put behind him or release? Or um, why does he need so much time to think? 
why doesn't if he feels all this love for me why doesn't he come forwards just do it you know that's the attitude that's what the ego does isn't it and, I, and obviously those thoughts come into my head but then I allow them to come I allow them to go because that isn't my truth I've got no need to get my knickers in a twist about this situation because I know my divine muscle loves me and he's coming towards me and he's doing his work I'm not allowing my ego to make me feel uncomfortable and hurt me um, because I know the truth so I hope that's helped you um, today <laughs> and I hope you haven't chucked anything at the screen um, but just laugh guys just smile this is happening this is really really happening and this reading has still been so beautiful and so positive for the divine masculines because they're learning this balance they have this balance they realize that they have managed and um they've managed this ego higher self they want to commit they want to come towards you with commitment they want to spend their life with you they're accepting this love they're not running from it they're accepting that they're in love with you and they want to spend their life with you um they're not allowing the ego to take over they're managing and having this balance is so important in their life and they realize that they have to go within for all the answers they're wanting to get to the comfort they're wanting um and they're connecting with god they could be feeling lonely because they want to be with you physical person because you want to be with your divine masculine as well <clears throat> but they have the ability to know that they're not alone because god and the guardian angels angels are helping them so much which makes them feel whole and powerful and they un they understand why they're having this experience why certain things have happened to them in their life why they are they have the answers to the why now and they're going to be honest with you so when you're going to be honest and when you're going to come towards somebody in a different way in a pure unconditional love share that love they need time to think about what they are doing what they are going to say because they know they've got to make it perfect this time they know they've got to show their truth and show how different they are and to show the transformation to you as well. So, anyway, I'm going to leave it there now, guys. I hope you enjoyed um, the reading. Keep, keep, keep being truthful to yourself um, and living your life as if this has already happened. Um, share your love, celebrate this love because you know that it's real. Um, and... If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it and share it because it really helps my channel as well. And um, I do have PayPal, so if you'd like to donate and support my channel, I'll be so very grateful. And thank you to you guys that already have. And I'm thinking of you all and I'm sending my love, my support, my strength and my light to you all. And I love you all very much. Stay focused and keep believing and keep being truthful to yourself. See ya. Oh, what's your soul saying? Oh.